Hey everyone, Achika here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DC Will Base Showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. But, before we get into that, though, I wanted to touch on Base Off Season No, which should have, or at least the stream should have ended on Sunday. Uh, I am actually shooting this in advance, so I don't know if that went off without a hitch, but if it did, then that means current Chica is busy judging all your wonderful entries, uh, and the results will be out on Friday, so be on the lookout for that. And then the next two Saturdays and Wednesday will be, of course, the first, second, and third place winners of the competition. So I'm looking super forward to that. I hope you guys are too, and again, I hope everything went off without a hitch. If not, this is a very weird intro to something that didn't happen. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, that's about it. But um, why don't we get into the tour today, which we are visiting someone who is no stranger to Base Off, as well as videos here on the channel, which is Pentagram123. You can see I'm still on the EU side here <laughs> with my Egyptian setup. Um, but yeah, Pentagram123 actually is, uh, like I said, is no stranger to the channel. She's had very, uh, quite a few bases shown, both for Base Off and just in general, uh, and is one of the first... Uh, uh, actual showcases or people to reach out for a showcase uh, to me so that was that was that's pretty cool always uh, but today one of the bases that I'm gonna show uh, is one of the first bases I ever saw of hers or that I visited um, and even though she's completed like quite a few since then this one remains one of my favorites so without further ado why don't we check out Pinta's or I guess it should be Vampira 666's which is the character <laughs> her alt character uh, whose base we're going to visit and their base entitled Dragon Lair alright so I think Vampira is actually toward yeah Dragon Lair yes <laughs> So, to, to tell how much uh, of a prolific decorator Penta is, ooh, yes, I haven't been in here in so long, this is going to be so fun, ah! But uh, when I first uh, spoke with her, she had like eight bases completed on two or three different characters that I had access to to show you guys, so I had to pick <laughs> which ones uh, were going to be shown, um, and... Uh, yeah, so, and she's completed probably 20 more since then. <laughs> Look at all the dragons looking down. This is so much fun. So we have a foyer here. Uh, a spooky foyer. Oh, I love, she's got a really great, great way of, like, making these, like, these depth of field windows that I absolutely adore. Oh, look at that. Look at the columns and the fire. Well, let's get the music playing here, because apparently we are in a creepy manner. Or at least a foreboding one, especially since we're being watched by all means of dragons. <laughs> However, I don't think they're as malevolent as they seem, probably. It's just a very voyeuristic facade up above. <laughs> So let's climb the stairs and we'll get a better look at our dragon army that sits around up here, stows about. I think it's probably just, yeah, it's grass patches and more dragons. As we can see on both sides. Whee! <laughs> so let's head this way uh, underneath this lava fall. <laughs> Oh man, yes, this is one of my favorite parts. Penta does such a good job of immersion in her bases, it's crazy. Look at this! Ah, I love this! The castle window! The dragons, the, the, the quad dragon build here in all four corners. Oh, it's so cool. And the stepping stones really like give it this like, this... Uh, rampart feel like you're up on the the walls of a castle it's so great we have a tomb here with a bunch of different altars and coffins and we get an outlook to the snowy veil that's before us here with all these snow clouds and some wolf friends of course <laughs> oh this is fantastic and this is definitely one of the things that stuck in my memory. I love this. Check out this dragon claw fountain. Oh, 
Oh, it's so cool. I love this so much. <laughs> like, the sanguine fountain, right, mixed with the empty fountain is, is always a good combo. But with the claws and all the dragons around, like, it really sets it off. Like, this is like a... I don't know, maybe like some kind of dragon altar. <laughs> I love it. We have a mystical doorway here, which I don't think leads to anything. I think, yeah, I think it's just uh, maybe a oh, a smaller cave. <laughs> maybe that's for the the baby dragons to get into. <laughs> this is so great. Like I said, the amount of immersion she gets for the manor theme is crazy. This is this is great. We have another doorway here. Oh, yes, we have the hieroglyphic walls. Another dragon as well as some unearthed coffins. Oh, it's so great. Alright, let's carry on to the next room here. Oh yeah, this is look at this hallway. So of course with this amount of immersion you have to block off areas and I think she blocked off the cave in the space and a lot of the back room but it is 100% worth it to get this amount of detail. Yes! Look at this! I love oh my dude look at the mountains peering out from beyond the fog above is so cool. Like, that is- the perspective is so neat! Look at that! Oh, man. It's like we have an oculus up there looking out into the- the dragon lands beyond. That is so cool. We have a nesting ground, too, here. With all kinds of dragons, of course, protecting their horde. A.K.A. probably their- the horde this time being the, uh, the eggs. <laughs> And we have some other dragons, of course, watching on from the sidelines. Oh, this is so great! Look at this! This is so cool. Oh man, but that oculus right there is so neat. This space actually inspired me to start working on a dragon temple of my own. It is far from done, and it's still in like the, the sketchbook phase where I'm just kind of like gathering ideas. But, um, yeah, this, like I said, this is one of the first bases I saw from Penta, like, year, a couple years ago. Or a year. I don't know how long I've had my YouTube channel for. <laughs> Over a year, I'm pretty sure now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is, I love this base a whole lot. <laughs> and then we have some more stones here. This seems like it's more of the, uh, the, uh, jailing. Or, uh, feasting, perhaps. <laughs> Hallway with the caged beast and the cage laying in wait here. Jailing those who are trying to steal their eggs or their hoard, perhaps. <laughs> so great. And then I think it leads us right back out to the foyer. Oh man, I I really love this base. Like I said, you there are only like two big rooms and then a few transitional hallways. Well, three I guess if you count the foyer out there. But uh, what's here is so great. Like it's so immersive and it really I don't know I I I don't know I really like this base a lot. <laughs> it's just I don't it's it's great it's. It's fantastic, and it's, it's something that I don't know. I haven't really seen there. I've seen a few dragon bases though, but uh, I don't know. This one's this one's so cool. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, that was Pentagrams uh, One Two Three or Vampira Six Six Six's Dragon Lair. So thank you so much to Penta for letting me tour, and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, only announcement was the one at the beginning of the video for Base Off. Um, it was uh, so just uh, the announcement should be on Friday if everything is going according to plan, and then we'll have the three winners for the next three tours, um, and then also the Friday after. Uh, this Friday will be the announcement of the next base off because it is jam packed. I have my dates all set up, um, and it should be a good one. I'm actually I'm super stoked for the next base off. I think I'm I think there'll be quite a few of you who'll be stoked for it because I know you have bases that kind of 
correspond to it but i'm also looking forward to seeing some new creations too as well so yeah <laughs> so yeah with that uh thank you again so much to penta thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one take care everybody